there is not a single person in this world who haven't heard about the starbucks and today i am going to talk about the story of a former ceo of starbucks howard shelves he was born in very poor family and his whole family used to stay in 1 bhk provided by the housing authorities or the public housing authorities his father used to work in very low paid jobs sometimes he struggled to fulfill the daily needs when he was 7 his father met an accident and he broke his leg as their fam- family did not have any insurance medical insurance or they did not have any savings his family went and uh, faced very difficult times at that time howard has seen his father lying on the bed very disappointed disheartened and doing nothing this time was very defining for him but still at this time he was thinking about the future he used to think about his dreams he was dreaming for a good life when he grew up he he played football and he was good in football and due to that he got a scholarship athlete scholarship for the college but he don't want to play the sports so he has decided to do majors in communication and to do the major in the communication he had to take the education loan he had done many odd jobs he has worked in very small small jobs and after doing the communication major in communication he worked in a ski lodge as well as as a salesman but his dream was to work for starbucks at that time starbucks used to sell only coffee beans and it had three owners after one year of consistent effort howard get the job in the starbucks when he was traveling to italy for some business trip he went inside the coffee house in a coffee shop there and he was very amazed and very impressed with the experience the owners of the cup coffee house in italy used to know their customer by their names he was very impressed with the idea and he came back to us and discussed the same with the owners and he he tried to convince their owner to implement the same in their own business but the owners rejected his idea after some time howard quit the job and he started his own company he started his own coffee house or coffee shop but he had no money so he had to go to investors seeking for help out of 242 217 people say no to him they say your idea will not work you can understand how much disheartening it is to listen that your idea will not work 217 times but still he believed in himself he believed in himself and there are a couple of people who really got convinced with his ideas and they started funding his company after so much of struggle he started his own coffee shop and his idea was excellent it worked well and and his business was booming after some years Starbucks got bankrupt and then Howard Shelves bought this Starbucks company he rebranded this company and again implemented the same idea in Starbucks and after that there are a lot of success here he has achieved and today Starbucks has 33000 outlet all around the world and it is 100 billion dollar company so guys what what is the outcome of the story the outcome of the story is you should not stop dreaming big at present you have two options 
either you can blame the situation or you can blame the people around you for your current state or current situation or you have some other option you have option you have to say to yourself that you are responsible for yourself there is no other one who is responsible for your current state you should take the responsibility of yourself you should dream big and only dreaming will dreaming big will not be enough you have to take the consistent effort to make it real your dreams might seem impossible for others but do not listen to others just think about your dreams and work to make it real so i hope this story will help you to dream big and i hope you have got some inspiration from the story do not think about the perfect plan or perfect time this is the time this is the perfect time make a perfect plan and go and grab the opportunity and conquer the world with this i am ending this session and i'll meet you next friday with some other inspirational story till then take care bye bye